What's going on guys? How's it going? I've modified the homemade front wheel drive e-bike. I've over volted the 24 volt motor to 36 volts and I've added an extra battery. So I've also removed the 410 sprocket with the bicycle chain and gears and I've put on the original 25H pinion and I've just put a 25H chain and a large sprocket onto the front wheel. So I've bolted this large sprocket to a regular freewheel sprocket. As you can see, it's just the one with the teeth. So this is a rear wheel off a bicycle on the front and it works really well because you don't have to weld your freewheel bearing onto the left-hand side of the hub. So it's almost as full throttle, uh, 80 miles an hour. So what it's saying on the GPS, so it should be accurate. 21. So the batteries were freshly charged and I was on a straightaway. It is. So we're wide open, 50. We're on a straightaway, 50.6, that's wide open. That's pretty good, coming to a hill here. 51, it takes a while to get momentum. I'm gonna back off a little bit. And as you can see, we hit over 50 kilometers an hour. Now that was wide open and we had a lot of momentum to get that speed and pretty impressive. I'm, I'm really happy with this build. I actually like this bike. This is the fastest bike I've built so far. 49, 50, 51. 53, yeah, that's probably fast enough. So this test isn't really that accurate because unfortunately I had different gearing on here when I was running at 24 volts. This setup here is way better than what I had with the 410 sprocket and the bicycle gears. They were just not big enough. So you can definitely see an increase in acceleration. Now. Okay, that's wide open. So my opinion about overvolting from 24 volts to 36, if you don't mind the wear and tear on the motor and you may burn out your motor eventually, then you can do this. You will see more acceleration and top end speed. Uh, the motor of course wasn't designed for 36 volts. So you may overheat the windings in the motor or you may damage the commutator on the armature. Also, you gotta keep in mind your controller, see how, how your controller is running, how warm it is. This one's pretty warm. So there are some advantages to overvolting. You're gonna get an extra battery. So you're gonna have more drive time and you're also gonna have less current flowing through the whole system. So I would recommend staying with 24 volts but I'd actually go up to maybe an 800 or a 1000 watt controller if you can find one. So if all you have is a chain drive motor and you want to build an e-bike, this system here, all you have to do is get a rear wheel off of a bicycle, take off the cassette, thread on the free wheel, and then put your sprocket on and it's done. So if you take your cassette off and you take the spacer out, then you really don't have to widen very much. But of course, you have to have enough width between the chain and the fork. So I'm probably going to build a faster bike eventually, but this one right now is my fastest bike and it's still in the experimental stage. So it'll also be pretty cool to see what this thing can do in the winter because now it's two wheel drive basically as you're pedaling, you can apply some power to the front. I'm not sure if there's gonna be an advantage to this. <laughs> it'll be uh, crazy to see.